everyone, Patrick Watson here at Call and Contact Centre Expo in the XL in London, and I'm joined by Tion Rosandic from TalkDesk. Thank you for joining me, Tion. Great, great, great to speak to you. How are you? Well, I'm very well, thank you. How, first of all, how are you finding the event so far? I know we're very early doors, but how's it going? It's going well, going very well. I mean, we really, you know, I've been to this event before, um, and I think it's getting better and better, actually. So I think every year it's just slightly bigger, more people. Uh, and we've already had some great conversations today, so some really interesting people some really good projects so yeah and, and it seems like there's a really there's a, there's a good time for you know what we do in the marketplace and and where the markets is as far as what they're looking for so yeah well i was talking to your team in the u.s at enterprise connect a couple of weeks ago in terms of some of the the new innovation that you've been bringing workforce management that's, that's going to be imminent and you you guys at talk just really are disrupting the the ccas market so are you how, how are you finding things obviously you're responsible for the emea how, how are you finding development over here uh, great as well. So I, I think you're right. You know, we've we've got a very interesting, uh, if you want to call it, methodology to the way we look at the marketplace. It's all about innovation. It's all about how do we meet customer expectations and and how do we do something different from a not just from a product perspective, but how do we go to market? Um, and the, the market's really seen that. So I think you'll see over the coming months and you know even years, you'll see how our product will actually innovate. Um, the pace of innovation coming from us is going to be spectacular so I'm looking forward to seeing it myself to be honest yeah and, and the way you do things is is very interesting in terms of your use of artificial intelligence and machine learning and talk desk IQ which is your sort of artificial intelligence platform underpins everything that you do and that and that's very important do you, do you find that it's getting a good reception over here in terms of genuine use cases for artificial intelligence because we do we do hear a bit of a bit of waffle about it at some events do we but you guys are genuinely using it we are, we are, and we've taken a very different approach to artificial intelligence. You know, we've we've looked at it in a practical way to see how it can actually be practically utilised. Um, I'll give you an example. You know, when it comes to how do you benchmark yourself against other uh, other similar sized companies or similar sized contact centres in the industry? You know, we our approach to that is, you know, we've put a layer of um, artificial intelligence in that to give you analysis and insight into how you stack up against your competitors and then recommendations on top of that so that's just a flavor for the kind of stuff we're doing and but you know artificial intelligence for us is going to be throughout our product it's not just going to be a bolt on to it it's going to kind of layer and enhance all the aspects of what we do yeah, absolutely and in terms of that use of artificial intelligence as i said there is there is a bit of a bluster within the industry at events like this are you showing your customers though those real world use cases like you talk about the benchmarking yeah. against similar organizations of similar vertical and, and competitors is that the sort of thing that you're showing on the stand um, well not today so that is that is part of the product roadmap and product evolution that's coming out as we you know in the in the weeks to come in the months to come so not today but some if you want to have a demo of that later i'm sure we can organize it it's coming soon, it's coming uh, soon. What, what what do you think your what's your main focus here obviously at, at this event in the uk because i suppose talk desk although as i said you've just to the CCAS space, I suppose you're relatively still quite a new name potentially out there. So, so what, what's the main focus? Is it getting the brand out there, customer leads, generating interest? Yeah, it's a very exciting time for us at the moment, and um, I think by the by the reception to our, our brand in the marketplace, it's been fantastic. So, you know, we're a young company. Um, I think we're one of the youngest companies in the space, um, and the way we've approached it, like is like I said from the outset, it's a very disruptive approach that we've taken. Um, the UK for us is a very special market. You know, we've we have a, a very we have an existing base in Europe already, which has already been there for three years. So we're not like we don't understand Europe. We do. Uh, we've already got 400 people in Europe, uh, in Portugal, where all our R and D's done. Of course, founding Thiago Portugal. You know, your founders from from the region. Correct. Yes, exactly. Portuguese, and we've got a very strong European aff uh, affiliation. So for us, you know, as far as really expanding the, the EMEA market. It starts with the UK and then it grows from there. Saying that, we've already got 250 European customers. So that's just been from the market, you know, hearing about our product, understanding it, and basically us, you know, doing deals with them across Europe, which has been great. So we can just see us building and building on that as we go forward. And have you got it? You say you've got 250 European customers already. Have you got any specific targets for 2019? I mean, you might not want to reveal them to me. Are they, are they big numbers? What, what's the sort of plan? Just generally continue yeah. to disrupt the space. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, we've got big, big plans. Uh, and, and the reason we have these big plans is because the market is ready for it. Um, you know, it's the right timing from what we do, it's the right timing for our technology, and it's the right timing for where people are at the moment as far as where they want to take their contact center into the future. 
um, you know, companies are, are tired of long, complex projects, you know, when simple integration should be easy, they're tired of that approach. We bring a fresh approach to that. We, we are, have got a, a product which is simple and easy to integrate. Uh, we've got a very different mindset when it comes to uh, how we have an ecosystem around bolting best of breed products together in an innovative stack. Um, and we, we really kind of, the, 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 what we've seen is the market really does understand that. And that's why we actually, I'd say about 80 to 90% of the companies we attract are innovative companies like ourselves that are looking to push innovation. So it's been a really strong ride for us.